gentlemen, I'm the style editor for Minnesota Monthly, and I am here at Bull Drive with the illustrious Charlie Brackney, who I trust with my hair on a regular basis. I literally sit in the chair and I go, just go, just do it. Um, and we, I have a confession to make that since uh, dyeing my hair red, I used to be a blonde. Uh, you, you know, you don't want to wash your hair quite as often because that color comes right out. And I kind of want to cry when I see pink water in my shop. Um, and so, the color and once you stop washing your hair, you kind of never want to do The problem is, you'll discover that suddenly you can't get your hair clean, or your hair doesn't want to curl as nicely as it used to. And so, uh, Charlie's here to help us with some tips because I have some other people who aren't willing to go on camera who are having to take off. <laughs> well, thanks for having me here. We're excited to uh, be working with you. So, this whole uh, conversation started online. There was a thread their hair wouldn't hold a curl anymore. And so I, of course, started to chime in my three cents. And I was like, well, you really need to clarify it, you know, because women are blowing their hair out more now. And going longer between shampoos, it's really important to know how to wash and condition your hair well. And washing and conditioning is a little different now that people are going longer between uh, washing and general. So I'm excited to show you some tips and tricks about how to do that. So one of the first things that you want to think about when washing your hair is that your hair is like a fine fabric. So it's really important that you wash it in cooler water. However, if it's been more than five days and there's a little bit of natural oil and product buildup in your hair, you actually want to turn that heat up a little bit to start to break through it. But what you can do is wash with warm water and then condition with cool or even cold water to help seal that through. Blowout is 
really, really important. Uh, the key with it is to use the right product for your hair texture, but don't overdo it. Too much product will make your blowout last a lot less time. So you actually want to aim to use as little product as possible. Uh, for Katie, I'm going to be using a little bit of volumizing spray right at the root, um, in sections, very systematically like everything. And then uh, I'm going to be using a little bit of a super shine cream to smooth out the ends to give it a little bit more shine. Because the hair was prepped properly for the blowout, it's going to last a lot longer, but you can also see that it has a lot of natural lift and movement at the root. So this is going to be the benefit of making sure that you wash and condition your hair properly. Thanks so much for doing this for me and for the wider audience. You're welcome.